Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I'm Sovereign. We're back in Infinite Lagrange today and we're just going to go over a really quick one. A lot of people have been asking me recently how armor works, what armor actually does and if it's actually important. I've been getting quite a lot of DM for those recently so I decided that I was just going to do a really quick video on it. We're just going to go through just the explanation of what armor is, what it does and how it affects each type of weapon. Remember to like the video if you do enjoy my content and if you'd like to keep up with all the Infinite Lagrange videos I will be doing up to two videos a week on this game for as long as I'm going to be playing it. I've been playing this for we're on the third season now and I'm still into the game. Next season I'm going to get in way more into the Union stuff as I did on the first one. The second one I ran it solo and we're just coming up to the end of the second season. Just as a quick note I do have a second channel that I just started up so if you're interested in new world the mmorpg that's coming out on september 28th then make sure to sub to that channel i will be making content over there as well and if you'd like to be kept in a loop on all the new releases all the news for the week etc etc for mobile gaming make sure to sub to this channel anyway shameless out of the way let's get into what armor is and what it actually does we're just going to use the cv 3000 as an example now as this base it has 120 armor now i'm going to do this as simply as possible as to not confuse anyone you have 120 armor now if we have a look at the dragoon battery system we'll go into the information just as an example you will have the damage per hit now the damage per hit is 55 so when the damage is actually lower so remember that number 55 when the damage is lower than that 120 it will only do 10 percent of the damage of the total hit so you'll only be doing 10 percent of the damage of 55 to a cv 3000's hull it doesn't matter what it is if it's below the level of armor you will only do 10 percent of the damage per hit now let's take a look at a ship that actually has more than that amount of damage so the damage per hit on the cycle that's the attack interval 15.5 seconds i will be doing a video explaining on the weaponry and how it breaks down with attack intervals rounds per cycle and damage per hit but that's not what this video is for this is just describing in easy terms what armor is so this will do 700 damage per hit now that 700 will take away the 120 from the armor and this only happens with projectile. Keep that in mind. It only works that way with projectile. You take away the 120 that is the armor, which can go up, obviously, if you're using some of the more defensive tech points and you start building up the fences on a ship. So you take away the 120 from 700 and that will leave you with 580 damage per hit. It's just a straight takeaway if you're doing above the damage and it is a 10% if you are below the rate of armor. I've had absolutely shit luck getting any of the energy weapon ships. I've got a few energy weapon variants, but they're AA stuff like the Metran Colatus Pulse Cannon AA, which you can see here, which is one of the only ships that actually does damage to Corvettes and fighters, and it does a lot of damage to Corvettes and fighters. If you do unlock this and you are fighting a Pete Lighter Union that has a lot of carriers, I would recommend that, but that's sidetracking a little bit. Now, armor does not stop any damage from energy. Damage types of energy go straight through the armor and it does the maximum amount of damage, which is why they're so strong, and which is why I feel because of the difficulty of getting them and only being able to get their energy weapon ships really is out of the paid boxes. Having the energy ships kind of makes it on a pay to win level, some little tiny bit of a pay to win level. The energy ships are just a way to make it more powerful than you would be going up against missile ships and projectile ship. Now, when the game first started, missiles were its own separate entity. The missiles would hit, but they'd only hit for 50% of the armor. So the armor would only take away 50% of the armor and it would spread that way. Now, if we have a look at the missiles, I don't know when they changed this. I haven't looked at this in a long time and I haven't really checked the damage type in a long time, but they're now, missiles are now projectiles. I don't know if that's been since day one when the servers released in Europe or not, but they're now projectiles. So they now hit the exactly the same way so if they did shoot these torpedoes at the cv 3000 it does 350 damage you'll take away the 120 leaving 230 damage per hit and that's pretty much as basic of an understanding as i can put on armor without going into too many details for you guys that is the basic gist of it right so that's all we have for today i hope it was able to help you guys to understand i hope it answered a lot of you guys questions in dms and in the comments when you were asking questions about the armor systems and how they work if you do want any other really short guys to get as much information as possible on each aspect of the game i'll go into deep into certain aspects of the game but make them really short for you guys make sure to like and sub make sure to comment down below what guides you would like to see and i'll get those guides done for you we do have the weapon breakdown coming up and i do have a guide on the evasiveness and using say the carillion for example as a tank for your frigate fleet so i want to thank you all for watching fly safe and avoid local chat scams